Hello and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon with your Street Lords Hindu Demand. Now we've been told by a dragon that we should look behind a waterfall. But do I have to light all of these up and something will happen? Yeah, okay. So no looking behind the waterfall, just uh, approach the stones and make things happen. This is sunny flight. I'm gonna assume that since, since this is the, in the first world, this should be the least challenging, right? Right? Mm, I'm not feeling it, buddy. I'm getting the distinct impression that this might actually be not the easiest. Okay, I wonder if I missed the train already. No, 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 we're good. Was this the first one? been the last one. I have no idea what I was just looking at over there. Maybe I should have been tracking the planes? This looks like a pretty complex option. Maybe I should start with these rings. And then follow around and see what happens. Oh. I should certainly not land there. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to start with the arches, which I still don't know whether or not it's a good plan or not. But it takes me right next to the planes. But then I can destroy the planes, which sounds pretty fantastic. After that, which we can maybe count down the trains. So this is a pretty loose roller coaster since they are flying in multiple directions and not in just the one. Okay, well, we fought this guy, and I know there's one alive. There we go. Then we can take the final arches, and then start chasing trains, maybe. Though I don't know where the chest row leaves me. It might have been handier to start with the chests. But it's time to find out. Nope, I missed one. That's not the best. I should maybe have started out with the chests. Or leave the chests for last. I'm pretty sure this is the break for which I already destroyed the train. Ah, oh, so close. It actually was pretty close, yeah. Okay, so I still don't really know... No, that's, I think, what I should finish with, essentially. Let's start with the trains, get the planes. Trains, planes, arches, uh, chests. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds to me like a pretty solid strategy, actually. We don't like the fact that we're currently flying into here, but I think we can fly out of this route quite easily. And maybe even hit an arch on the way.
Since we don't want to come back here via arches. I missed. Okay, there's a plane. Here's a flame. Ah! Miscalculated that terribly. And the fire has to be quite accurately aimed at the planes. I lost a lot of time with the planes right now, I think. Seems like the obvious conclusion. And these arches are spread too far apart for me to be able to recover from this. So, try it again. I've got this. Hmm, maybe I should catch that train first. I don't know. Really? But that's pretty shit. Shit. Not what I had in mind and I will not stand for it. They don't want to hit the front of the plane. That's supposedly a given. Okay, I'm gonna want to hit that arch, then I'm gonna want to hit that next arch. And then I will want to collect every plane I possibly can. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, just need to turn around to hit the arch. I think we are pretty good. We seem like on a pretty solid run thus far. It'll just be up to the chests, and I think they will be fine. They give enough time to turn around in the area because there's a lot of them and they are very closely packed. They do mean very closely packed. Okay, yeah, we've got this. Excellent. Quit. That's that. That's enough of that. I wonder how much there actually is to Nasty Nork's world? Because if you're looking at the guidebook at skill levels... That looks like... It's not really gonna be a problem. Give me your, give me your life bits. Give me your life bits. I need your life bits. Come on. Okay, next up is a challenge from here. So now I'll just go and find the tulip. That's not very hidden, is it? Well, it was hidden, sort of. Okay, the next stop on our list is Town Square with all bull stuck. Okay, next up is High Caves, Burn Hidden Painting. Hmm, yes. There you are! I've been looking for you all over the place. And you're here all along. God damn it. 
mind you, this time I just came here, but you know, when we when I initially recorded this particular zone, I had a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble. Finding that painting that was just right over the fuck over there. Because I was unable to construe what standard as a painting. I didn't find it. Apparently I mistook it for just another part of the wall deco because there were other elements of wall deco there that were, you know. Ooh. Spiral the dragon. Spyro. Spyro and Sparks. Dragon statue. Nox. Dream Viva Fools. Giant Pansy, Armored Horror and Demon Dogs. Toasty. Pansy isn't a very nice word. Dr. Shemp and Blowhard. Metalhead. Shax. Or Jack. And Nasty Nork. Cool. So, I'm... There's Village and Nasty Nork away from completing the game. I forgot about Metalhead, by the way. I forgot there's a lot of loot we forgot there. I was just looking at my guidebook and was like, huh, that's weird. Metalhead is at 90%. That, shouldn't be, that can't be right. But it is right. I haven't done Metalhead. Well, I haven't gotten all the loot from Metalhead. I should go do that. I'm really hoping I don't have to bring uh, Google to the rescue. I'm about to do this on my own brains. Because I have some brains stored in my head. Whole. The cavity inside my head that is reserved for brains. There's something in there and I think it is a brain. It would be nice if that was the case. I just completely balls that up. You have bananas. Uh, like bananas. Because they had no bones. So this platform here is a platform? And it brings me over here. Where did we find loot? I, I think to solve this. That one platform I just completely refused to believe was an actual platform was actually a platform because I had been betrayed by this game before by just jumping on a platform and it just disappearing from beneath my feet but no this 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 was an actual platform I should have trusted my initial gut I should have jumped on it But the eventual gave it to me to me was the fact that I saw those sparkles rise from the tower. Which was a sufficient hint to understanding that that might be the bay. That that tower must be where I must descend from. Okay, but there's still some extra loot around. Well, I'm not perfecting this again, I guess. Not this time. Alright, and the final piece of this particular puzzle. Da da da! Nice! 100% level complete. Right, that ranged weapon, pretty substantial. It's time. To nastiest world we go.
Now, from what we've seen from the skill menu, this might be just the boss fight level and nothing else. But it's also possible that it's a hub. But I'm thinking the boss fight theory might be more... Oh no, there is a Nork Nexus. Uh, not right now, no, I just want the champ from behind you. Don't mind me, I'm just falling. Okay, wakey wakey. Excellent wakey. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on, I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Okay, so there's more left to this game than I imagined. That's fine. We only have to reach the end of each world. Let's go to the Nork Cove. And why did I only find 75 treasure there? Is there gonna be hidden treasure behind each door, which is gonna be like uh, really mean to me because I will be like, but I need all the treasure now, and I won't get to have all the treasure now because the game is being mean to me. Because if that's the case, I'm not a fan. Guidebook. 400 gems, two dragons. Hey, I remember this Crash Bandicoot level. You're supposed to be a gorilla. Well, was he supposed to be a gorilla? He was supposed to be something and he was supposed to be big. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, well, apparently they just drown the barrels, which is fine. So the Nork has a pretty industrialized cove here. That's fine. Nice auto aim, Spyro. Because I didn't certainly put any effort to it. Despite the guy holding T and T, we still had to slap him twice. Ah, I see. The armor was the initial problem. That makes some sort of sense, I suppose. I will accept those terms. Oop. That's not very nice. Four hundred gems, it said. That's that's a few. Wakey, wakey. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. I like their attitude. Where can I get the DNT for this? Oh, I don't need DNT for this. I need this for this. Okay. Aim. Aim. Fire. Oh, all that for messy ten pence. Measly even. Yeah, I'll take it. No, I can't aim. The game. Fire. And here I was previously complaining about Spyro's out aim. 
But we now realize it was just luck. Or a sort of rounded out aim. Hey, you're standing on a TNT. That's not wise. Am I supposed to hit that power from over there to over here? Because I'm not charging into the NT, that's... That's how you get killed as Pyro. I think. No, no, Crash Bandicoot. That's the one. Spinning TNT is not a good idea. So I'm gonna guess that neither is charging. Ooh, that's... That looks hot. Oh yeah. All these pennies. Since we are in this industrial age, uh, Northland, I'm sure they use uh, English pound instead of gems. So we're gonna have to readjust. My calculations. The reflect just that. Ouch. I did not intend to get myself hit on the head with the same barrel. That's not gonna work. And that did work. What do you have for me? Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued! Especially by such a little dragon! Uh, Did well, you rescue I, before? I always believed in you, Spyro! You gotta believe! <laughs> oh, that... That didn't bounce as far as I hope. Now it's a book. Nice. Into the sea. Well, that's gonna be a chain reaction, isn't it? Ooh. I should not have done that. How silly of me. Well, did anyone bring a key? Because I didn't. Well, apparently they had the key right here. Guess it was a test of the smartest smarts. And I had them. I had the smartest smarts. The thingy we previously discussed as may have been my brain. That's what may have been my brain, even. Alright. Speaking of smarty pants. Yeah, that. Is this just a small little tunnel? With oh, you're holding good. That's rude. I love her tank top though. I wish I had the confidence. By which I mean, I do wish I had the confidence. And it also looks great on them. Alright. And now we're missing what? This one gem. Cool. Uh, that was a level 100% complete, right? I didn't get a I didn't get a message for it. So I'm having doubts. Yeah, that was that was a level 100% complete. All right. Next up, we have the Twilight Harbor. 
And this literally is just giving me a little bit of uh, gems every now and then. Every now and then I get some gems. To pry open the door to your heart. Maybe? I don't know. What are these gems for? Not for a fucking minigun, that's for, that's for, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and we will figure out how to, to, to hack that minigun. Yeah.